Hey everyone, welcome to Purling Through Life. My name is Melissa and I'm coming to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. I hope everyone is doing well. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So this is my channel and it's all about knitting and crochet and yarn. And today is a weekly update video where I like to share with you the things that I've been working on the past week. And today I have three finished objects, six works in progress, and no acquisitions. So we'll get started with the finished objects. And I have three, two of them are knitting and one is crochet. So I will start with the knitting first. And the first one is a dishcloth and it's called the Beaver Tail Dishcloth. And it's from the Kitchen Sink Shop. And this is the July dishcloth of the month. So what that is, is that every, if you sign up for the newsletter every month, they will send you a free dishcloth pattern. And here is, here it is for the month of July. And I made a mistake in the pattern and I just went with it and sort of made it a design element. So right here, if you look at the two center columns, they're supposed to just be stockinette all the way down. There's not supposed to be any of those yarn overs like you see in the middle here. So I don't know, I thought I I was just going off of, because it is, it is essentially a two row repeat and I thought I had it memorized, but I didn't. So when I got to the end, I was like, well, wait a minute, this isn't looking right. So I said, well, I pulled it back and I had to add a few rows to make it look uniform, but that's what I did. And it's just a design element. So, but there it is. And um, all of the dishcloths are, are suggested um, to be made with worsted weight yarn and a 3.25 millimeter knitting needle. And I did use both. I used worsted weight and I used that needle. So there it is, and the yarn is this yarn here. It is from Hobby Lobby. It is, I love this cotton. And this is the colorway banana. It is 100% cotton, 100 grams for 180 yards. So I have lots left um, to make more dishcloths. And I told you the needle size and everything. And again, well, I say this every, um, every time, every time I do a video, I say this and I will link all of, um, anything that I'm able to link, I will down below in the description box. So I will link this or the kitchen sink shop, their website so that you can sign up for the dishcloth of the month if you like. So there it is. So that's my first finished object. And the second one is a knitted hat. And this is the Winterfell Beanie by Smeeny Made Wild. And here it is. Here it is. Now I debated on whether to put a pom-pom on this and I have not, um, I do want to put one on, but I can't decide which one. So here it is, here's the beanie. And if you remember um, last week, if you watched, I showed you this pattern with the yarn. It was part of my acquisitions, the yarn that I used, and I was excited to use the yarn and make this hat, and I really, really, really love how this came out. It is still a bit damp. Um, let's see, when did I finish this? So today is Tuesday, I think, yeah, July the 9th, and I think I finished this um, I want to say Saturday and I washed it straight away um, and it is still a tiny bit damp. It is a super thick yarn. Isn't that pretty? So just um, a little bit of color work. Nothing too um, not, not complicated at all. And here is the yarn that I used. This is a Malabrigo yarn and here's what I have left. Here they are. Aren't they beauties? I love, I love how these caked up. I love it. So these are the two yarns. And the first one is called Anna Vasario. 
Anniversario. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. And the yarn, sorry, let me say that. So it is Malbrigo. It is the Rasta base, which is a super bulky yarn. And it is 90 yards and it's 100% merino wool. So there you go, it is very thick yarn. And then this yarn is, everything is the same on this, and it's called Natural. There's that. And I used a nine millimeter and 10 millimeter knitting needle. So nine millimeter for the brim, and then 10 millimeter for the rest of it. And I did, um, I did like, cause I didn't have needle, like I didn't have 16 inch circular needles to make the hat. So I did, um, it wasn't really magic loop cause that was kind of hard to do the color work as basic as it is. It was hard for me to do that. So I did like a traveling loop and that, that made it better. And I have to say, I didn't really, really like working with the yarn. I love the out, the outcome and it's so, so quick. So I could see myself making more of these because they're very quick. Look at it, it's just beautiful. It's so soft. Um, so I could see myself working with it again, but I had, it really made my hands hurt working with the, the big needles, which you have to, you know, with this thick yarn. I love this yarn though. I love it so much. I love the look of it. It's just, I love it. And I wonder, what I could do with the rest of this. I was thinking of like a headband or something. Maybe mainly make the headband in this and then, you know, the, kind of put this in like in the middle. We'll see, we shall see. Um, I think that's it for that one. I'm very happy with how it turned out and I am definitely gonna put a pom-pom on it. I just um, could not decide on one. So there it is. There is the second finished object. <clears throat> so possibly I'll make more of these. Um, it was not enjoyable. I like really skinny fingering weight yarn with, you know, tiny needles. So this is like the complete opposite of that. Um, but it works up so quick. I think I I may have started this Friday night and I got I got it done by Saturday in the afternoon. It went really, really quick. I could have finished it. I started it kind of late Friday. So I don't know if you can hear my grandson. So hang on one second. Sorry about that. My grandkids are in the other room and I had to go out there and remind them to keep it down for just a little while longer while making a video. So fingers crossed that they do but I was showing you this finished object and here it is one more time. And I love the colors and I'm very happy with how it turned out. So there is that finished object. And the next finished object is another hat, but it is crocheted and there's no pattern for this hat. It is just a crocheted um, ribbed hat and it is made with yarn I, I'm not too particular, particularly fond of. And it is a very bright hat, so here it is. There is the hat. It looks ginormous, but it actually it fits and looks normal. I'm not gonna try it on. Um, it is a super stiff hat, uh, very, very stiff. Look, it just holds up on its own, look. So it's made with a, set, a size seven jumbo yarn. Um, let's see. So like I said, there's no pattern. It's, uh, you just, I think I chained 26 stitches and I made like a panel and you just knit through the, or crochet through the back loop. And then when it fits around your head, you sew up the sides, sew up the back there and then cinch the top and you have a folded over brim and you have a hat. I do like this, um, hat pattern a lot. It's really easy and I like the way that it looks, but the yarn is a Michaels yarn and it's a loops and thread echo tie dye yarn. I don't know if they have this yarn anymore, but here's the label. And like I said, it's a jumbo number seven yarn and it's made with 100% recycled acrylic. 
And this hat here, I used um, a full skein and then a very small amount of the second skein. So here is what's left of the second skein. Here's the yarn. And the name of the yarn is Mellow. And the um, it is 100 and 150 grams for 82 yards. And I used a nine millimeter crochet hook. And I dare say that is why it's so stiff. Um, I do have a 10 millimeter crochet hook. It calls for nine millimeter on here. Um, I do have a, a 10 millimeter, but I don't even think that would have made a difference. And But that is the biggest size crochet hook I have because there is a hat pattern on here. A ridiculous looking hat, if you ask me, sorry. There's, and that pattern for that hat is on the inside of the ball band. And that actually calls for a 16 millimeter crochet hook, which I do not have. So I'm gonna wash this, see if it'll soften up, and it's gonna go into a do donation pile um, in October when I go to SAF, which is a yarn festival in North Carolina. They always ask, they always ask for hats um, for you to donate, and I realized October is really, you know, not that far away, so I need to start making some hats. I did take some last year, but I wanted to take more this year, so I almost feel bad donating this hat. It'll definitely keep you warm. Hopefully it'll soften up a bit. It's so stiff. Oh, so there's that hat. So you may or may not see a lot of hats from me um, for the next little while, because I would really like to, like skeins like this, um, like what else would you use this hat, this yarn for? Although, I. If I had had enough, this would make a really good basket. It's so stiff. Um, but I, you know, have skeins that I really, I don't have enough to do anything besides a hat. So I really want to get um, those yarns and make some hats. And this is a really easy um, hat pattern. It's really easy and I, I love the way this looks. So that is all of my finished objects. So now we will move on to my whips. And I have two crochet whips and four knitting whips, I think. I think that's right. I will show you the crochet ones first. And this first one is Living in This Bag by Cottontail Farms. And this is another um, crocheted hat. The same um, pattern, or the, it's not really a pattern. It's crocheted the same way I made this hat, um, but with a different yarn. It is a Michaels yarn, uh, loops and threads. I'll show you that in a minute, but here's what I have so far. So this is basically what I do. So for that hat, I cast or I uh, chained 26 stitches on this one, because it's a smaller, um, a smaller yarn. It's a number six. I chained 40. And then I just crochet, half double crochet in the back loop. And then the last five stitches, I do a, um, a single crochet in the back loop to try, you know, for the top of the hat, it draws it in a bit. So basically, um, I just knit or crochet this until it's wide enough. And I sew it up in the back and cinch the top. And then, so this is how, this is the length, this is it lengthwise. And then I will fold over the brim. And there you have a hat. There's millions of patterns for these. Millions of patterns. So this yarn is a bit better than the other yarn, although it's not, it's not great. I do love the colors. The color is beautiful. So, and here is the ball band, the rest of what I'm working with. Uh, I thought I had a second ball of this, but I can't seem to find it. So hopefully it will be enough to finish this. And if not, I'll just rip it out and I'll just have to make like just a regular beanie um, without, you know, the folded over brim. So, but hopefully this will be enough. Or maybe um, it couldn't really be a child's one because the length is just too much for a child. Uh, we'll see. 
So, like I said, it is a Michaels yarn. I don't know, did I say that? But, well, it's a Michaels yarn. It's loops and threads. It's Echo Cozy Watercolors. And I bought this the same time as I bought the other yarn. I think they came out the same time. But this yarn is a super bulky six. It is, it's also just much um, uh, so softer than the other yarn. It's 100% recycled polyester. That's probably why it's softer. And the colorway for this is Violet Blooms. And it is 145 yards, 150 grams. And I am using a nine millimeter crochet hook for this as well. So it's gonna come out a lot nicer, or it's not gonna be so stiff, it'll be drapier. But there's that. Works in progress. And I have one more crochet. And it is a another market bag. I seem to be on a kick of making market bags if you've been watching the past few weeks. So for this is the third one I've done this year. And it is living in, well, this summer at any rate. It is living in this bag by Nomadic Yarns. And this is a Harry Potter bag. It is the Diagon Alley, all the shops and Diagon Alley. And this is a, let's see the name of it, is the hexagon market bag by Selena Baca. It's a free pattern, but if you go on, like I'll leave the links below. If you go, if you, if you click on the link to the Ravelry page, it doesn't say that it's free, but if you go on to her blog, um, you'll see this free, but I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy the pattern. I can see myself making a lot of these. I haven't really gotten very far, but I can see myself. I, I'm already, I already love this. So this is what I have so far. So I just have the hexagon started. Um, you make two of these and you attach them and then make the straps. But there we go. And there's so many possibilities I am in my head. I can see myself making a bunch of these with all with scraps and um, I, I, there's just lots of combinations I can think of and I don't think it's gonna take that long to make. So this is what I have so far. And the yarn I'm using is, this is Crafter's Secret Cotton. Here is the first yarn. Well, I'm. this is what I have left. But here's the first yarn. That's in, This is the center, this yarn here. And it's 100% cotton. It's a number four, but it's kind of thin on the thin side. And it is 120 yards uh, for 71 grams. And the colorway is hot pink. So there is that one. And then this yarn here that I've got, I've got two rows in, and th it, that is this yarn here. It's also Crafter's Secret. I think it's, yeah, everything's the same. And this one is called Rose Quartz, very pale pink. And then another color I'm going to add to it is this color which is ivory. So it will be these three colors right here for the bag. And the white will be like the outline and the straps and everything will be in this color. And I believe I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook. Yes, a four millimeter. So I'm going to buy the pattern because I want to give her credit, you know, I want her to be compensated. This is a, I just, I already love this pattern. And also the pattern on the blog is, I'm hoping that the actual paid for pattern is a bit better than that. So there we go. 
and hopefully I will get this done quickly um, so I can start another one because I've got loads of ideas. So there is that finished object. Put all the yarns back in the bag and move on. Now these are all, the rest I have are knitted and I will show you. The first one that dropped I'll show you are my socks and they're living in this bag. This is a T Doddles bag. This is just progress on my socks that you've seen if you've been watching the past couple weeks. Um, it's just a vanilla sock. And the first sock I have here, I have um, almost complete. It's off the needles and I just have to add the heel. But this is where I was. So I knit my socks cuff down. So from here to the toe, I had, I finished on that sock. And then um, I started the second sock and this is what I have so far on the second sock. Pretty yarn. So I knit my socks. Uh, I'm knitting these on a magic loop and these are the Luca needles 2.25. They're wooden needles and I'm loving them, loving them. So let's see, a magic loop 2.25. I cast on 64 stitches. I do a two by two rib. I do shorty socks, so I have 20 rows in the leg. And then I will do an afterthought heel. An afterthought heel. Am I saying that right? Yes. Um, and I'm not sure what color yet, but here it is. Beautiful. And this is a Knit Picks yarn. Knit Picks Felici. No more Felici. And the colorway is Mermaid Tails. And so they come in 50 gram skeins. Here they are. And I did the first sock in this one. And this is what I'm doing the second sock um, with. And this is 218 yards, 50 grams. 7525 superwash merino wool nylon. So there we go, and there is the sock. It's beautiful. I have to see. I have a lot of stroll from knit picks. Um, so I have to see what matches best. I could go through all my scraps, but uh, I hate doing that as there's too many. So that is that um, works in progress. And I started another pair of socks because, you know, why not? And they're living in another Cottontail Farms bag. And these are DK socks. And here's what I have. So this is a new cast on. And here's what I have so far. I love these. I love these. So there we go. So the DK socks, I use um, K from the, yes, K from the Crazy Sock Lady. She has a DK sock pattern, and I use the, um, that's where I got the numbers, how many to cast on, and I cast on 48. And I do a two by two rib for 10 rounds. I'll knit them cuffed down on Magic Loop, and then the um, needles are 3.25 needles. And I will do a um, afterthought heel on this one as well. I have the heel right there. I don't think you can't really see the markers. I have the heel there. This one, that marker just shows the first knit, um, knit row after the ribbing. Yep. So I love this. I love this. I love that. I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't really sure about the yarn, how it was going to come out, if it was going to pull really badly, but it's not. It's not. I wouldn't say that's pulling at all. It's almost micro striping. And the yarn, here it is. I just wasn't sure when it was in its hank form. 
Um, it just looked like to me it could really possibly pull, which it might have, like if you were to make a hat with it or something like that. Uh, I've had this yarn for a very, very long time. This yarn is from, now I know I have this, where is it? This yarn is from Leather Co. Leather Company. I used to get, they have a monthly subscription box. I used to get, it is probably one of the best monthly subscription boxes I've ever gotten. It is based around crochet, but it is a beautiful, beautiful box. You get beautiful yarn, all different weights, um, and you get um, goodies and a hook. I think you can ask for just the yarn without the hook, but you get beautiful hook. Um, they're beautiful. I don't, they're all wooden hooks like this. I don't um, gravitate towards these. Not sure why. I just like the smaller handle, I guess, because I like the tulips. Um, but yeah, you get beautiful yarn, goodies, a hook, and pattern, like pattern books with like two patterns, I think. I think it was two or two or three patterns, something like that. So it's crochet patterns. So it's kind of based around crochet. Um, so I had it for a long time, but I just, it's a DK yarn. And the colorway for this is Italy because I think that the year, that year that I had it, um, she was doing like destinations. Um, so everything, you know, Italy, uh, the whole box would kind of go uh, center around Italy. Like the stitch markers were probably something to do with Italy and um, the patterns and stuff like that. So this is called Italy and it is um, 7525 superwash merino nylon, 245 yards for 100 grams. So I did crochet with a lot of the yarn, um, but I just really wanted to knit these. I really thought, you know, I wanted to knit the, I wanted to make socks out of these. And I'm really, I'm glad I'm, I don't, well, I probably don't like pooling. I tried to tell myself I do, but I don't think that I do. And I'm really glad these are not pooling. So, and then I think I'm going to use, um, I have some DK weight yarn from Teal Torch Knits, this yarn here. I think that's what I'm gonna use for my heel. Yes, I think so. So there, cause that's really what I bought this for, to do, um, cause gray kind of goes with everything. So that, and I bought it to do heels, toes and cuffs. I normally just do heels in a contrasting color. So there's that. And then let's see. Um, I'll show you this. I have two more. So here we go. This one is living in my matter root bag. And this is progress on my this or that wrap. So this is the this or that MCAL by Amber O'Brien. And it was a mystery knit along that has ended. And there were four clues that came out. The first one started in mid June. And the last one came out on July 5th and I am behind. Um, that's okay. That is okay because I work on so many things. I can't stop at, you know, starting new things as well. So I am still on clue two, but I will show you my progress. Um, and if you don't want to, I mean, I'm on clue two and the MCAL's over, um, but just in case, I'm gonna show the, my progress. So you had the choice between doing a wrap or a shawl, and I chose to do the wrap. And here it is. So where the stitch marker is, is where I was last week. So above that, I've done all of that. I've done all of that and these are my three colors and the first in the first clue the first part of the clue um, I had the yarn 
I had color one and color two the other way around. The tan was color one, the blue is color two. I've done it the opposite with this, and I like that. And for clue three, we'll see. If I switch it back, I don't know. Now I have the advantage of looking at the whole pattern and deciding what I would like to do with the wrap because there are options. Like this lace section here is the cir circle lace. Um, and they also had like diamond lace, a diamond lace pattern. So if I wanted, when I get to the lace pattern, next I could do the diamonds. I think I'm gonna stick with this though because I really, I really love that. And when you block it out and it opens up, I just think that's beautiful. I like that. So there it is. There is my wrap so far and the three colors. And I'm using, a, it's fingering weight shawl and I'm using 3.75 needles. And here are the yarns. These two are spun right round. And here is the label for that. And one is car wash and one is dream. I think this is car wash and I think this is dream. And this here, I'm not gonna go through everything with the yarns because I'm gonna be showing this a lot. What does that say? Sorry, I'm getting text message from my sister. Sorry, Susan, I'll call you back in a sec. Um, so, and this one is Miss Babs. So I don't wanna go through everything because I'll be showing this for a while. Um, and I just don't want to go through all the yarns and all that, but so these are spun right round and this is a Miss Babs yarn and it's the colorway Coastal Fog. So there are all, that's all the facts of the shawl and my progress and I'm enjoying it. So there is that and then I have one more works in progress and this is a whip that I have had for a long time and I went to I went and dug it out and I'm going to try my hardest to really really work on it let me get a sip and get it finished it is another wrap it is called the sunset I'm sorry the Sedona sunset wrap and it is by Jenny Williams and it was a free pattern off of the knit picks website So here it is, it's living in this bag. I started this a very long time ago. And I stopped working on it and didn't pick it up. And I realize why now, because the pattern repeat, I just finished a pattern repeat and it was like, we'll do this two more times. And I was like, oh, that doesn't sound like fun. So here we go. Yes, I do have so here is the wrap. I don't know how to show this really. I always have trouble. So there it is. I really want this. I really, really want this for the fall, sitting outside and wrapping this around me. I love the colors. I love this. Oops. I don't know how well you're getting to see this. Um, I'm not sure, but the um, where the stitch marker is, look at um, it's a funny. If any of you, I'm sure all of you, um, that knit and crochet that are watching have other whips, and I haven't seen this whip in a very long time, and there's a stitch marker I forgot I had can you see it it's like a little it's like a jester is from simply serving I don't know how well you can see that and then also I'd like to use this bag is not that a cool bag I didn't even say who it was by this bag is by Algany fiber arts all the kitty cats on there so I'd like to use the bag, 
So let's see, the needles I'm using are five millimeter needles. And there we go. There is, this was, this is fun to do. I think what it is, is you get to this right here, it gets boring. Um, and I have to do all of that two more times. Well, so I'm on, so one and a half. So I'm on, there's three, re, three repeats, if, yes. So I finished the first one. I'm probably, I'm on the second one. And then after I finished, yeah. So one and a half I have left. So all the different areas. And this will, when it blocks out, will open up. I love the colors of this yarn. It's really hard to show. Can you tell it's a wrap? I keep looking at it thinking, I hope I didn't do anything wrong. But I don't think so. I don't think so. You can kind of tell. So there it is. So I'm gonna try really hard to work on this and get this done, because I really would love to have this. I love these colors. And I have, I'm having, I was having a lot of fun making it. I think I just got to that. Oh, I finished the first section. Now do that entire site and do it two more times. I was like, oh, that doesn't sound like fun, but that's okay. So this is the yarn I'm using. And this is a new, uh, use, I'll show you the, a new yarn because I'm going to have to attach this soon. So this is ice yarn. And have a label that would be easier to just read off of so let's see okay so it's ice yarns there's their label and there's the yarn and it's rosetta worsted it's a number four and it's 30 percent wool 70 percent acrylic 100 grams for 200 meters I think that's it. I used to love, well, I used to love getting ice yarns, but I really used to love getting hobium yarns. And I think hobium has a similar yarn to this, but isn't that beautiful? I think so. I think it's beautiful. So yes, so I don't know. All oh, the fibers are getting to me. Oh, let's see. So I think what I'm using here is the second. And I'm almost done. So I got this out. So I don't know if that'll be enough to finish the rest of it off. Probably, probably. So that is it. That is all of my, yes, that is it. That's all of my works in progress. And then I did show you all of my finished objects and I do not have any acquisitions, which is good because I've been buying too much. Um, but I will just say this, that there is something going on my channel there's a giveaway going on and if you look at the um, video I posted last week all the details will be in that video and if you're interested please watch the video I can't remember what episode it is I can't remember but it's the one before this one and it was um, I can't remember. I think July 2nd. I think that's what the what day it was. Last Tuesday was July 2nd. So go look at that. And if you're interested in the giveaway, please leave a comment in that video. Not this video, that video. And please don't mention the giveaway at all because I would like it to just be for my subscribers or people that watch my videos. And it is to celebrate my 800 subscribers and I have gotten quite a few more so welcome everybody thank you so much and if you st stayed uh, this long for this video I I always appreciate that very much but it's a celebration and a thanks for all of the subscribers and people that watch my videos so go head on over to that video and enter in the into the giveaway just please don't mention anything about a giveaway so, um, I think that's it. Uh, it is a very humid here. Today was not as hot as it has been, but the humidity, well, okay. So it's like 91, but it has been like 98 degrees and the humidity, the humidity has been really bad this year. It is awful. 
So, and I think it's not just here, it's everywhere. So everyone out there, try to stay cool. It will break, it won't last. So that's what I tell myself. And um, yes, yeah, so try to stay cool and enjoy your summer. So until then, until next week, I'm gonna leave you. So until then, bye for now.